my name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Get ready to see a switch from soft tyranny to hard tyranny inside of 2012. Nothing could illustrate this better than the passage and signing uh, on New Year's Eve, no less, of National Defense Authorization Act 2012. For over a decade, we've seen the expansion of the security industrial complex inside this country. We've been told, we've been propagandized, we've been slowly immersed into it uh, as it being for our own good. We needed to do this to protect us. We need to stand in front of a blue uniform TSA agent and get pat down and sit through a naked body scanner before we climb onto an airplane because it's for our own good. We need to have 9300 checkpoints in 2011 alone to protect us from terror-loving terrorists that want to come over here and take our rights. Yet, on New Year's Eve, the president signs into law something that truly does take your rights, your constitutional rights, and takes them from you if the executive branch so determines. Now, there's a lot of hype going on about this signing statement that the president came up with. Don't be fooled by the propaganda or the spin. The president signed into law legislation that gives him the authority to strip you of your constitutional rights as a U.S. citizen and detain you indefinitely. He had help from the Republicans and the Democrats. Lindsey Graham stood on the floor of the Senate painting this apocalyptic scenario in which a U.S. citizen would be taken overseas, trained in the art of terror, brought back over here, and unleash mayhem on this country. And that's why Lindsey Graham says we need to be able to pluck U.S. citizens off the street, detain them indefinitely, and in some cases just launch a $70,000 Hellfire missile and kill them to get rid of this uh, terrorist threat. We see what happens in nations throughout history when legislation, when legal cover is given to the governments to turn into tyrannical forces. That's exactly what they become. And the people of that country are always the ones who bear the burden of this failed policy and of this tyrannical legislation. They're the ones who feel the effects of it. They're the ones that government ultimately is unleashed on. No more are we a government of laws, we are a government of men. And if, gov and if men decide that you no longer deserve your rights, you can have them taken from you. The Constitution of the United States has been rendered null and void by a bunch of non-representing representatives in Washington, D.C., and a president who claims that uh, he has your rights uh, in mind when he issues a signing statement, yet signs into law the very legislation that gives him the power to do just that to strip you of your constitutional rights, and to make you nothing more than a pawn that the state can decide what to do with. Stories are attached. That's all I got.